Wind turbines behind the horizon can appear to be evidence for a spherical Earth. I'm going to stop the video and I want you to have a look at the taller wind turbine and compare it to four other ones that are closest to it and see if you can spot anything. There's a visual distortion happening here that can be easy to miss. Once you know what to look for then it can be easy to spot. I would like to share some information with you in that regard. Part of it has to do with a wind farm that is in southern Manitoba, Canada. This is a map of it. There are four wind turbines over here represented on this map and then also five over here. Combined that makes a row 6.9 miles long. The next part of the video I recorded from approximately this area here showing the 6.9 mile row. In the video can be seen a tower which is approximately over here. That tower is not a wind turbine but it is useful as a location reference point. Not all of the wind turbines have lights but as far as I know all of the wind turbines in the area have the lights synchronized together and way off in the distance can be seen the uh, row of four which is part of the 6.9 mile row. I wanted the ground elevations near each of the wind turbines that has a light in that 6.9 mile row and I found I was getting different results. So what I did is I averaged them. So this average number here goes to here. During the long distance observation coming up later in this video, the wind turbine represented here on this map was the one that was closest to the camera. So, and what I'm doing here is I'm showing the difference in elevations. So, I'm using this area as a reference point and so for example using my averaged ground elevations, this one here is 0 0.08 higher than this one and so on. So that's how I came up with these numbers here. According to these numbers the first three are not far from being level and then the last two it's like it takes a step down so minus 8.15 feet and but even these two if I would put this all on a graph I think these two would be almost parallel with these three. Here is some information about distances during the long distance observation coming up later in the video. So this location here is represented here on this map. And the recording location is south of Morden, Manitoba. Here is some information regarding the camera height. According to my research, the camera was approximately 73.12 feet higher than the average hub height of the wind turbines with lights in that 6.9 mile row. Here is a map regarding the recording location. This is a road sign at the intersection near where I was recording. I'll play some more video as well related to this area. I recorded this before sunrise with the idea of trying to record both the lights of the wind turbines and the wind turbines as well. Later I adjusted the levels to try and extract more image out of the wind turbines. I think it would be very logical to say that if things are further away they would visually appear to be smaller than things that are closer. Have a look at the size of the blades that are on the wind turbines furthest away and compare that with the blades that are closer. Obviously, if the blades appear to be smaller further away, then the entire wind turbine would appear to be smaller as well. Coming up, I would like to show a ruler that I have taped to my computer monitor to show the lineup of the lights. So the entire image and the image of the lights are not 100% stable, but it's not too bad. And I think the uh, general lineup of the lights can be seen.
Back to this image, look at the size of the generator housing on the tallest wind turbine. It's that box shaped part and compare it to the next one. So the next wind turbine appears to be a lot lower and look at the size of that generator housing. Don't the two look like they're about the same size? Logically speaking, when things are further away they should appear smaller. An exception would be if the object is magnified then it can appear larger than it really is. This is a magnifying sheet and by moving the sheet the object appears to move. Here are some batteries and that same magnifying sheet. And I'm going to move one of the batteries away from the camera. And the battery has the appearance of going lower and increasing in size. So the diameter looks larger now than the other one. And if I go far enough, it's out of sight. And if I lift up the magnifying sheet, and there is the battery. Now I'll move the battery closer to the camera again. The air, or what is in the air, can cause things to magnify. I suspect that this happens mostly over water. So when you see wind turbines that apparently look like they're partially hidden behind a horizon, study the size of them. You may actually be looking at an optical effect like what I've shown here with this magnifying sheet.